Castorel Technologies has adapted the life cycle from the recommendations of the DO-178B and C standards to the SCADE model-based approach. In particular, different models are associated to every step of the development, and simulation capabilities are available for efficient verification of each phase. The left part of the life cycle is explained in a dedicated video. You can refer to it to get more details on the development process. So let's take a closer look at the right side of the life cycle. As explained before, the SCADE KCG semantic checks ensure design integrity. KCG qualification replaces code review. Model coverage allows verifying that the test cases also cover the LLR. At the integration testing phase level, the SCADE lifecycle testing environment is a module that allows developers of certifiable applications using SCADE suite to automate the running of test cases created during model-based verification activities on host and on target. This allows a complete verification workflow from high-level requirements-based testing on model down to integration testing on target. With SCADE Lifecycle TE complemented with the SCADE Lifecycle Model Test Coverage Tool, MTC, conformity report generation and model coverage measurement are automated. Developers of certifiable applications using SCADE Suite for model-based application development and SCADE Lifecycle TE for verification activities have an integrated flow for a full benefit of a model-based approach. SCADE Lifecycle TE is pre-qualified off-the-shelf for DO-178C, for DO-330-TQL5 qualification, and SCADE Suite MTC is qualified for Level A, Criteria 3, TQL5. Model-based applications developed with SCADE Suite can now be automatically passed to LDRA, VectorCast, or IBM RTRT, which allows verifying that the embedded application is running as expected on the target. The same tests can automatically be reused on both host and target, significantly reducing the effort typically used to generate and prove tests during both phases of development and final verification on target. The SCADE Model Test Coverage, or MTC, tool intervenes here to monitor the objective of 100% coverage of code structure. MTC is a coverage analysis tool that executes and reports on requirements-based test coverage for SCADE suite models. MTC tracks successful execution paths and percentages of each SCADE suite operator that is tested and enables modified condition decision coverage analysis at the SCADE suite model level. The model coverage analysis contributes to the detection of insufficient testing, inadequacies in the HLR, and dead or unintended model elements. The model coverage addresses the DO-178B Objective A-7 Number 4 LLR's coverage when LLRs are expressed in form of model, like SCADE, and the DO-331 Objective MB-6.7 Model Coverage as a Supporting Activity for Verifying LLR's Coverage. MTC provides efficient integrated support of model coverage and code coverage measurement and resolution. The coverage analysis at model level enables requirements-based tests, shows how thoroughly the SCADE model has been tested, and demonstrates the role of each test case in covering operator instances of the SCADE model. It allows identification and resolution of all uncovered features and reveals shortcomings in requirements-based test procedures, inadequacies in system requirements, dead software requirements, or deactivated software requirements. The test report, conformity report, and model coverage report can be generated from the test environment with the use of the qualified reporter. Successful system integration and integration testing result from the accurate allocation of requirements to items, a careful interfaces definition, a true incremental lifecycle integration, a correct deployment of configuration management and other systems engineering management activities, and a comprehensive integration testing strategy that verifies the assembled system operates as it should. Validation is concerned with checking that the integrated software meets the actual needs of the stakeholders. Validation involves making assessments of how well the software addresses a real-world need. 
The system validation phase is out of the main scope of the SCAID model-based approach. However, it is important to mention that when turning to the system validation activities, in other words, validation that the built system does right, that it does what the stakeholders expect, hardware in the loop testing is an appropriate way to combine real hardware components with software-based simulation. At this point, the conditions for accurate and thorough testing are met because the HIL environment in which the system is placed for testing has a larger scope of parameterization than the targeted real plant in which the system is placed at the end. More generally, the traceability of requirements is entirely managed with the SCADE Lifecycle Requirements Management Gateway. The SCADE Lifecycle RM Gateway allows the user to graphically manage links between SCADE system, SCADE suite, SCADE display models, and other structured documents, in particular, high-level requirements and test plans. Each SCADE tool allows to trace the requirements of its models by using the RM Gateway. They use the RM docking window to visualize the traceability links and call the RM Gateway. The SCADE Lifecycle RM Gateway provides a comprehensive traceability solution for the complete software design process. This means that this tool allows you to configure which specification and working documents to process, the type of traceability information to obtain, the traceability relationship between documents, and also performs coverage and impact analysis. Thank you.